Stephen Friend here on Newford Suckler Demonstration Farm. So Cavan is all finished here on the farm for the last number of weeks and we're currently breeding and I'm just going to give it an update on the year so far. Calving went well on Newford Farm this year with 95% of the cows calved within the first six weeks. Calving started on the 24th of January with 80 of the 89 cows calved by the 1st of March. Luckily the weather in February was very good and allowed early turnout of cows and calves. However, the weather broke around the 10th of March and all the cows and calves were rehoused for a period of three weeks. After this, we got the cows back out around the 1st of April and the last cow calved on the 4th of April. Uh, overall, we lost three calves at birth and another calf died from a twisted gut at two weeks of age, leaving us with a 4.5% 28-day mortality rate. Calving wasn't long finished when we were straight into preparation for the breeding season. Three weeks prior to breeding, all the cows received their leptospirosis booster vaccine along with mineral boluses. They were also tail painted which allowed for pre-breeding heat detection in the three weeks leading up to breeding. Breeding started on the 24th of April and we're currently three weeks into breeding and we have 98% of the cows submitted to the AI and 100% of the 25 heifers have been AI'd. We're here with the maiden heifers that we're bulling currently. So we've three weeks of AI done now and uh, there was 25 heifers here for bullen and we've 24 submitted for AI so far. These heifers averaged 330 kilos before bullen there about three weeks ago. All these heifers are being AI'd to Edendale Ivor LM2014. So he's an easy calf and limousine bull and all last year's heifers uh, were in calf to him as well and we had very little trouble calving them. So all the heat from these heifers are being picked up with the use of the flectomized bull here and he has a chin ball, a red paint on him and a moo call collar as well. There was a team of seven bulls selected for breeding on Newford Farm this year based on the usual criteria, which includes having less than 8% calving difficulty for mature cows and a greater than 35 kilo carcass weight, as well as having less than 6% calving difficulty for heifers and greater than 25 kilo carcass weight for younger stock. A negative figure on days of slaughter is also an important feature of the selection for bulls in Newford Farm. Away from the cows and calves, yearling stock are also doing well out at grass, with all stock being turned out since the 1st of April. Previous to this, yearling heifers had been turned out on the 26th of January, but were rehoused for three weeks on the 10th of March due to the bad weather. Yearling heifers were turned out at 405 kilos after a six week housing period and had gained 0.68 kilos of an average daily gain over the winter period. Bullocks when turned out on the 1st of April averaged 455 kilos and had done 0.68 kilos average daily gain over the winter period. All stock have done well since being turned out and were recently weighed again around the 12th of May with heifers currently weighing 460 kilos on average and the bullocks averaging 470 kilos. Silage ground was closed around the 10th of April and received 3,000 gallons per acre of slurry as well as 55 units of protected urea. Grass growth has been slow but is getting going in recent weeks. Weather conditions have made grazing challenging lately with ground remaining wet in places. It's also been difficult in recent weeks to travel some of the ground with the tractor. However, all ground at this stage of the year has got 38 units of protected urea with sulphur. So that's it for the moment. To find out more, make sure and come along to our open day next Tuesday the 23rd of May from 2 to 6 p.m. or visit www.newfordsulphurbeef.ie.